morning. Um, thanks about yesterday. Akiko Senpai is injured too, and I was really uneasy about working alone with Mitsuru Senpai. Injury? Yeah, Akiko Senpai was attacked by a shadow on the day like you collapsed too. He said that he injured his ribs a little. That sucks. Hikari began talking to you in class. I thought I was gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. Mitsuru left. She was certainly direct. She's probably busy with things like student council. Unlike us. You sound a bit cynical, Ikari. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? It seems like Junpei was listening to. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... She's just... Class has ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decide to go back early. Dormitory 4th Floor Command Room. Mitsuru and Akihiko are already here. Welcome back. Hi. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Oh. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. That voice sounds familiar. <laughs> What's up? Wait, did you drag your stuff all the way up to the fourth floor? Damn. <laughs> What's up, Junpei? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? I believe it. He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Didn't happen to me. <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> it happens to everyone else. But man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? Yep. I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Oh, I'm absolutely stoked. Huh? Uh, yeah. Junpei has joined C's. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Ready for... Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. Okay. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Lovely. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Uh-oh. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. Really? Uh, you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? Not too enthusiastic, Akihiko. And it's the perfect place for us to train. Train? You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? Ugly. But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, He'll only come as far as the entrance. Oh, he's probably pissed about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Relax. I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. How? Oh. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. Really? Have you tried? Just take the gun to your head. 
Oh well. Gecko Con High School front gate. This is it? This is the place? Yes, it is. Why here? Just wait a few minutes. That would be spoiling the story. It's almost midnight. Midnight time. Um. Um. I feel like there shouldn't be squares there. <laughs> ah well. Might be something to do with the rendering on this system. Not much I can do though. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. So our school is the dungeon of the game. Lovely. Uh, labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You know, don't you? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Yes, it is. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? Yes, it is. There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. Oh. I know. You don't have to remind me. So this is Tartarus. You decide to enter the tower. Whoa. It's just as cool on the inside. Yeah, it's like the TARDIS. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. Oh. First we'll have you three get a feel for this place. What do you mean a feel? Why don't you go have a look around? Okay. What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. How about no? Uh, you're in charge. Oh? Wait, 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 why him? He doesn't look like a leader. Well, neither do you. But he has fought them before. Seriously? Yes. That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Oh. Yeah, of course I can. I've never seen your persona. I think so. I'm not even going to mention what you did. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? Sure. <laughs> That's the spirit. He decided to go through the entrance. Oh? A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? The velvet key in your hand is shining. The key fits into the door's keyhole as if it was being sucked in. Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. Oh, really? The time has come for you to wield your power. Oh. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? I'm sure I'll find out. Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. But I will find out. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Oh. Uh, your power I don't is want to unique. know. <laughs> That'd be fun. It's like the number zero. It's empty. But at the same time, holds infinite possibilities. 
You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. Lovely. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. Oh. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Oh, I see what you did there. Seize. Your power will grow accordingly. Oh, that's good wordplay. Be word sure play. to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. Spare time be scarce? What the hell are you doing? I'll tell you then about my true role. The manner in which I can best assist you. Okay. Until then, farewell. I'd like a bit more backstory on Igor. He seems like an interesting character. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? That door. <laughs> Man, are you loco? Probably. They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Come on, let's go. Well, okay then. You can check your own status by pressing the triangle button. Also, you can save your progress by accessing the clock to the left of the entrance. You can also pay money to heal by accessing this clock. Lovely. So, let's see. We have outside. Dude, that's the wrong way. Unknown device. It's some kind of device you've never seen before. It doesn't seem to be functioning right now. Ikari, so this is Tartarus. Junpei. Alright, let's do this! I'll prove that I should be in charge. Screw you. Mitsuru, don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. Akigo. Since Ikari and Junpei have no real experience in battle, m make sure you back them up. I keep equipment that helps me search for information in there. Please don't touch the bike. Alright. What are you doing? There's nothing over there. There is! There's a door! Sheesh. Heal all. You don't need a heal. Check battle tips. Heal party and save. Alright. So... How long have I been recording this session for? <laughs> eh, about 40 minutes. Okay. Ah well. I'll try and keep going as long as I can today. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's explore the first floor of the first block of Tartarus. Inside Tartarus. So, this is it, huh? Uh-huh. I hope I don't get lost. I hope I don't get lost either. Can you all hear me? Yes. Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. That's creepy. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. Lovely. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Why is she always like what? Let's begin. Keep in mind that these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Right, so... I was going to say, there was a run button, right? <laughs> Obtain medicine! Lovely. So, yeah... <laughs> Watch out, I detect a shadow in front of you. Move it and hit it before it attacks you. Press X to use your weapon. If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have an advantage at the start of the battle. You know what, I'll just... Oh, sh crap, I didn't. Takeba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? You know what? Might as well. The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. 
Those skills consume either stamina or spiritual power. They tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. So my health is technically stamina. Keep attacking until you've defeated okay. the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Uh -huh. Okay. Then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Oh, here's the best bit of the song. Right, before I do anything. Direct commands. Direct commands. Back up. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Ba -da -da -da. Song's awesome. <laughs> One enemy remains. Ha! And it's down. That was easy. So I, uh, I can have the party doing their own thing, but I think for the sake of me wanting to live, uh, staircase is the only way to proceed to next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at disadvantage if the enemy gets the hit in first, so try to surprise your opponent's strike first. Ugh, yes, yes, I know. There we go. That should have gave me initiative, but it didn't. Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Okay. Do you want to know more? Sure, why not? Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, Swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Do you follow? Yes. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? Right. Roger. So, analyze. analyze the enemy. I'll use Aggie, which is fire. You attack the it's weak to fire. Then I can use Aggie on you. A wisely chosen attack. Here's a chance. Let's get him. And now that they're both knocked out. All out attack. Lovely. Revival bead. Lovely. Oh, oh, wait, 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 go back. Snuff soul. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach it carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful to you as you explore, so use it often. I think I failed. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? Yes. If you didn't already notice. Doing so will also grant you an additional attack. I noticed. Would you like more details? Sure, why not? An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. <laughs> one more thing! <laughs> oh, I miss Jackie Chan Adventures. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Which means, you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Got it. Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Okay, so... No attack. Aggie on you. Gorpheus. You struck the enemy's vehicle. Yes, I did. 
And weak on you. Or should I say it's strong against you? They're weak against me. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a. And boom. Shuffle time. The mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. After the battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the ones shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are other cards, each of which have a unique effect. Overboard. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. Right, so I want the middle card. Press the X button when your desired card is directly in front. Okay, so I'm keeping track of it, keeping track of it. There we go. You got Pixie. Lovely. Oh. Her EO level up. Lovely. So the only ability she has is heal. And the only ability you have is cleave. Okay. Alright, so Persona. Uh, what Persona are you? You are lovers. Okay. Now, I kind of want a Persona that has... Uh, how do I explain this? The Personas have different Arcanas connected to them, and the... Personas of that arcana can help with social links, so I kind of want certain persona to help with social links. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you are another party member is in bad shape, then use healing arms prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Tack Bear to heal you. Oh yeah, because she has heal. Well, to be honest, I'm not really injured, so we should be fine. Oh, Maya. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. Do you mean the all-out attack that I've done twice? You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Sure, why not? <laughs> when enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. Oh. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's okay. all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Yes, I do. That concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Oh. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Well then. So with that being said by her... Aggie on you. Aggie on you. Aggie on you. And finally, I heal you. You exploited the enemy's Here's weakness. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. Throw me at him. And all-out attack. Oh. Well, shuffle time. Right, I have Pixie, so I want the one on the left. So. There we go. You drew a card from Sona Asparas. You're welcome to Asparas into your heart. Lovely. She's got to level up. And he's got to level up. Fantastic. And then this leads me to... That's odd. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dawn for the day. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. But if they get too far away while split up, 
you will not be able to use skills or items on them. Be careful, lad. Uh. Press square to issue if to, to issue orders to your allies. When your party members get too far away, their portrait at the bottom right of the screen will darken, and skills and items cannot be used on them. Also, party members may encounter shadows while split up. While they are in battle, you will not be able to change their equipment. Well, like, you're in charge, what are you waiting for? Issue the I guess you're not letting me go any further forward until I do that. No, in fact, you made me go all the way over there. Okay. Use this command to instruct your opponent members to spread out and look for stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not very strong, they can easily fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Right, so while they're doing that, I'm going to take a little look at Asperus. Asperus is Priestess. Okay. So, fool, lovers, and priestess. Okay. I really want one of the magician arcana. This. Oh, I found an access point. Love it. Okay. So with that, that should be every bit the floor covered. Hi. Right, regroup. Everyone, return to the leader. Oh. I wonder how much Mr. Senpai really understands us. Is this really inside of school? It'd be funny if we are right our brother. It'd be funny if where we are now is in front of our classroom. Okay. So access point. Good, you found the access point. Please return to the entrance. Okay. Here you go. Medicine. I was gonna say you should better return the thing I had. It seems you've returned to the entrance. Welcome back. Welcome back indeed. So, how was it? It was horrifying. No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Oh. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. Hopefully I will. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. Did you expect us to fail? At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. In any event, by combining your powers with your teams, you were able to stand against the shadows. You feel a bond forming between yourselves. Exclamation mark, question mark. You felt the power of your heart intensify as if in reaction to the bond between your friends. Rank 2 of the Fool Arcana. Lovely. The C social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has grown. Just like Yukari and Junpei, you feel tired as well. You decide that it would be best to return to your room and rest. Okay. Right, before I do that... Ah, there you are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, I suppose it's time for me to explain what I really do here. It is my job to create new personas, but in order to do so, I must fuse your persona cards together. In other words, I shall merge them into a single persona. The number of personas you have buried within you is approximately 170. That's a really... definite number. We've never seen a visitor with this many possibilities before. If you establish social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas too. <laughs> this should prove very interesting. So, as you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. If you wish to learn about fusing personas in more detail, then talk to me so that I may give you some hints. How may I help you? Let's fuse a persona. Right, so I have a couple options I can do. I can make it of Asperus, I could make an angel. I can make Necromata. And I can make ne Necromata or Angel. Or I could fuse all of them together to make Unicorn. But not gonna do that. Right, what I want to do is I want to fuse Asperus and Pixie 
to make Necromata, because it is of the Magician Arcana, and... What? I'm terribly sorry, but you're not at high enough level. What level am I? Level 3. Oh, for the love of... I guess I'm doing this early as a date, then. Ugh. Well, that was useful. Am I able to go back and level up a bit more? No. No, I'm not. Well, shit. I'm feeling tired. Let's go back. Dude, I can't take it anymore. I'm starving. You should have ate something before we came. From now on, you'll select your party here before you enter Tartarus. I'll explain the details some other time. Très bien. You did well today. Now, let's head back to the dorm. You guys did a great job, but you won't have to shoulder the burden forever. If only I hadn't gone injured. Yes, if only you hadn't gone injured. The dark hour will soon be over. It will be the next day when you stop exploring and return to the dorm. Would you like to return to the dorm? Yes. Yes, I would. So, that's pretty much the gist of Tartarus. You go exploring a randomly generated dungeon and you fight enemies, you get items, and you get to the next level. 